In 2011, as the nation was slowly waking up to the possibilities of a world connected by an information superhighway, the then UPA government at the centre launched the National Optical Fibre Network Initiative to provide 100 Mbps broadband connectivity to all of the 2.5 lakh gram panchayats across the country. While the UPA government envisaged a network spanning 3 lakh kilometres, they could only manage a dismal 350 kilometre network. The scheme is important because the government believes that once it is completed, it could add up to Rs 4.5 lakh crore to the national GDP. So when the NDA government came to power in 2014, they rechristened the NOFN as BharatNet, reformulated the program as a collaboration between the centre and the states, and set up the implementation across three phases. As the first phase came to a close on 31st December last year, we take a look at the hits and misses of the project. Exceeding the target of providing broadband connectivity to 1 lakh gram panchayats, the government successfully connected 1 lakh 1,370 gram panchayats to the internet. Looking at the length of the optical fiber cable planned in the states versus those actually laid, we see that while many of the states have done exceedingly well on the metric, most notably Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, states like West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir and even Maharashtra have lagged. A look at the number of Gram Panchayats state-wise versus those actually implemented paints a similar picture. While most of the states are on track, some like West Bengal, Bihar and Odisha have unfortunately stood out for their poor implementation of the scheme. Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh, on the other hand, have done an excellent job in bringing internet to their villages. Under the second phase, which is to conclude in March 2019, all of the 2,50,500 gram panchayats are to be connected with a combination of underground cables, aerial OFCs and radio and satellite media with the last mile connectivity being ensured through Wi-Fi hotspots. Close to 7 lakh Wi-Fi hotspots are also planned under the second phase of the project. Currently, only 38,000 hotspots are operational. The government hopes that more than 10 crore people will benefit once the hotspots are ready. While the government has been seen delivering on almost all the fronts in phase one, last mile connectivity is what will matter eventually. Also, getting the second phase right will ensure Prime Minister Modi's Digital India initiative becomes a reality. If completed, it can stand as an enduring legacy of the Modi government.